guys and happy Monday. Hope you all had a beautiful, relaxing, recharging weekend. What up, Snazzy Sean and Jolly and Billy and Sam? Hi, you guys. Hope you guys are doing fan freaking tastic, just like this little baby boo is. We are going to be continuing, nay, finishing our Howl's Moving Castle piece from Friday, and I hope. It comes out good because I think it will but well you never know so let's just play our music is it gonna work I think it is <laughs> the app has been retired so we'll see and then it's art time reacts hello I was just getting started why isn't it it's not doing it it's not doing anything hold on stations Ooh. Lo-fi is fine. Let's play some lo-fi. Cool. Rip it. Crusty asshole. Oh, a crusty boy. Had an amazing D&D sesh. Long time no see, friend. Sam, I'm so glad you've been having a great time. That gives me hope. It gives me hope for the world. And Zion, you guys, hi. Back from a week away from computers and ready for moon stream. I hope you had a wonderful, relaxing time away from all the screens. Screens of sadness, right big boy? Biggest, most beautiful golden boy, so perfect. The most perfect boy. So I was just getting started by getting some ink mixed up because um, we are at the inky dink stage for the most part. I, I've seen some things that we can work on while the ink dries up, but we need some nice pale blue, some orange, and maybe something else I'm not quite sure yet. Oh yeah, we need like a paler version of the wood. So like a, a golden brown and like a, a paler kind of orange. Um, the embers in the scene, actually let's get the reference up because I need it. I need the reference. The embers are not like a glowing yellow. They're more of a, a rosy orange, which I think will look nice. And I've never done embers looking like that before. So that'll be pretty swell. Pretty freaking swell. So let's just move some stuff over so I have some space. Been busy at work. So many things to fix and organize. Oh no. Oh no, but at least you work in a library. Like that is, ugh, that is some goals. That is just beautiful. Oh, you're like Evelyn from The Mummy. Mm. <laughs> the goals, the cutie pie librarian with all the knowledge. <gasps> Vivi, hello! Not so much relaxing, but I do have a nice, <gasps> freshly decorated bedroom. No, that's fabulous. That is wonderful, Zion. You should be proud of that. Wow, what's new? What's happening? Why are you yelling? Crazy, honey. Um, oh yeah, okay. Oh, my drama bean. Okay, just a bit more inky dinks. Actually, let's just move this over so we can kind of work on this together. Winky dink. <laughs> oh, I missed that W. Sat mulling in this lovely chat, enjoying this gorgeous stream. Oh, jolly. Jolly Wally Wally. What have we here? May I share the project I've been working on? Sure, Sam. Sure, just a moment, please. So we need a light kind of cerulean blue. I'm thinking this one. I think that one will go down very nicely. Very nicely. Oh 
yeah, that looks swell. That looks V nice. Okay. Lovely. Um, and then we need a pale kind of rosy orange. So how about we go in with this bright coral? Coral. Oh. The day you stop doing that is the day I die. Oh, wow. Because you will never stop doing that. Okay. And I will never die. <laughs> And a little bit of or or yellow, a little bit of yellow. Like this one here. <gasps> Thank you so much, Sam. I really appreciate that. Wait. <gasps> oh, boss! Rex. Good call. Oh yeah, that looks good. That looks very good. Okay. It could probably stand to be a little bit paler, but we could use this as the overall ember glowing color and then we can um, add some like white or some paler bits inside to make it like lighter at the, at the core. It'd be lovely. Hi, Suru, how are you doing? So nice to see you again. Hope you're doing fabulous. Uh-oh, uh-oh, Goram, God mode. Oh, GG, Goram, wiping the floor with us. That's typical. Um, okay, for our pale yellow, GG's to everybody else though. We, we tried, we tried our best. Was eating some Nutella with my <laughs> other hand. Mmm. Delicious. Doing just great. How are you? I'm fabulous. Thank you so much. Just working on this Halloween castle piece. Um, okay. Little bit of yellow in here. Okay, we're definitely gonna need some more white in there. Um, we could probably just leave this ink like this, but I do want to it down just a little bit maybe with a little bit of brown and a bit more white because I mean the highlights on the wood are, are quite bright and quite yellow but I don't want it to be too distracting so let's go in with a little bit of this brown here and this this ink's kind of like dry and weak so we shouldn't need too much Smidge a bit more and then some white and it should be good. Clearly we are not hydrated enough to defeat him. You may be onto something there, Jolly. I think you're onto something. Maybe we should have some water. Are you the most popular boy in the land? Yeah. <laughs> God, I am so accessorized on my head today. This is crazy. <laughs> Oh yeah, that's swell. Oh, that looks perfect. Okay, now I just need a bit more white in there and then we can leave these inks alone to dry and we can just continue working with everything else. Brown log, oh <laughs> what? Oh no. Goram's power is affected by hydration levels. Yeah, I think that's fair. Go for a dedicated <laughs> Nutella hand. Oh my god. My Nutella feeder. <laughs> I would love that. Uh. Like Goro from Mortal Kombat is uh he's got two 
Nutella feeders. So there's, that's the only reason he can use those? Mm. Oh yeah, oh yeah. His like secondary set of arms is yeah. specifically for the application of Nutella onto anything in his life. I think that's totally fast. I do too. And that is officially my headcanon. Hi, Dr. Magus! Lovely to see you, my friend. How are you doing? Maybe a smidge a bit more white, and then I think that is good to dry up. <gasps> Doctor, thank you so much for hosting. You are so magnificent. Give me just a moment, I'll get you written down into the love book. Did you guys know that tomorrow is the, is the anniversary of the birth of one particular spud? who is so magnificent that I love him. <laughs> it's very interesting to me. <laughs> so interesting. I find it very interesting. Wow, okay, so our inks are ready to be, you, uh, you know something? I think I want a little bit of white in the in the orange one. It's just a bit too dark right now. See, I think I want a little bit of country. I want a little bit of rock and roll. Ah, ah. Ah, 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 ah. I don't even know that the next line's that, huh? There are no other lines, that's, that's it. it. That's all it is. Yeah, well, let me do it for you. A little bit rock and roll. Next song. Next song. Bin. That's it. Skip. Did you say bin? Bin. Oh. Just bin it. <laughs> All right. Let's let this stuff dry over there and see what else we could do on the painting itself. There isn't a whole lot, to be completely honest with you. But um, I do see some things that need some love. Oh, <gasps> reacts! Okay, you know what? We need to write stuff and... Can you please open Discord? What? Can you please open Discord? Yes, love. Thank you. Just, just a second. Blah. 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 Uh, hold on, hold on. Ooh. And lift. Hey there, you guys. It's been a while. I'm Giuseppe Grykinski, and I am here to let you know that you are magical the universe loves you and it wouldn't get anywhere without how wonderful you freaking are make sure that you drink lots of water hey stop it stop it stop it i'm trying to i'm trying to give good vibes to the party people i don't need these bad vibes oh both of them stop it stop it stop it stop Make sure that you drink lots of water and that you face your fears head on. Like how I do with this big golden tapeworm. Stop it. <laughs> Never say no to your dreams. Don't let your fear stop you from giving good vibes to party people, even when death is on the line. We love you so much. And we'll, oh, geez, stop it, you stop it, you stop it, no! And bye, because I don't, that's about as much fighting as I can do. I'll see you guys later. Just remember, if you need to take a rest, you take a rest. If you, oh, if, oh, stop it. If you need a hug, you hug something. You need a snack? By golly, treat yourself! Stop it! Stop it! Stop! Bye! Oh, Griffin, leave my squid alone! He, Giuseppe tried his best. Oh, he slow blinked at me. My boy! Oh, my boy! Oh, he's so sweet. He actually wrapped around his beard. I know. And I don't even care because he's such a good boy. 
Oh, what a good boy. Come here, my love. Come here. Come here. Oh, what a beautiful boy. What a good boy. I know. <gasps> Hi, Bam. Well. How you doing, Bam? And thank you so much for hosting both of you for being so freaking sweet. I hope you had a beautiful weekend. Thanks, Josephie. Reacts, Josephie is here for you. Josephie is here for all of you. He will always protect you. Like how he protects himself from the clutches of Gryffindor. He may not always be successful, but he he can't be successful all the time. Midna, no drink in the paint water. Oh, jeez. Today is Monday, the 30th of November 2020. Thank you again so much, Dr. Magus. for hosting and bam uh, the cats are so interested in what you're doing honey who's been here waving at them they love it they love when you give them attention <gasps> wow well, okay griffin doesn't care anymore the novelty of the wave has wore off on him a heck and protect Giuseppe does a heck and protect to the best of his ability. Feline Overlord does not tolerate any competition. No, he doesn't. He's a he's a pissy diva boy. All the ki kids have FOMO. What's FOMO? Uh, me being of uh, me being awake without them have um FOMO. They ring the bell. I also fell down another hole of research this time. <gasps> Astro sociology. <gasps> what does that entail? That sounds fabulous. I thought they were going to say that they fell down the stairs. Oh, fear of missing out. Okay. <laughs> okay, I get you. Thank you, fam. Oh my god. All right, so what we gotta do here um, get some more accurate uh, dress dress ruffles here. Having some issues over yonder. He's attacking me again, honey. <laughs> He's so funny. I'm tired. I forced myself to do some Tai Chi after getting the kid back to bed. Some Tai Chi Vams. Oh my god. I think they need a chai tea. Mmm. <laughs> chai tea is delicious. Nice chai latte. Mmm. Thanks a lot, eh? It is the effects of space on society, religion, and personal well being. Basically, humanities and sociology, but in space. <gasps> That's so cool. Ow, Griffin. Don't. You take those claws out. I mean, not out, but like, don't. Who claws their mother? Tai Chi is helpful if you have back issues. Oh, really? That sounds interesting. I'm interested. Look at his micro blip. Micro blip. So cute. Ow. Why does he keep attacking your house? Well, be I don't know. He's in a feisty mood. He's got a wet foot now. Well, ow, ow, Griffin. ow, oh, ow. Look at my skin. He skinned us. Skin killed us now. Who claws the 
their mother. Ugh, every child ever born. Dang it. That's like, that's my like top, my top like scolding for the kids. Like who attacks their mother? And, and now, and now they have justification. Everyone attacks their mother. Dang it. My top scold. Your what? Oh. Top scold. That could be like three things. What? I thought you said your top scold. Oh. to learn not to attack. Yeah, they they got to learn. But now they have justification. Dang it. Top 10 anime betrayals. It feels that way. These crazy babies always attacking their mother. I mean, they're super cute and it never hurts that much, but still it's the principle of the thing. Okay, maybe a little bit of poofiness on her big old Victorian sleeves. I think we, we added a lot of poof to her sleeves because I think big old poofy sleeves are super cute. magic on her dress to like make it prettier as he says and he, he gets all upset that she decides to wear her ugly straw hat with her newly beautiful dress but the only difference of the dress is that it looks slightly shiny and that always like bothered me because like you could do anything with your magic to make it look nicer <laughs> what you made it slightly shiny so I wonder if we shouldn't try to do like some kind of nice pattern on the fabric like we can do it in the blue to keep it moderately subtle but I think it would imply like a, a bit more was done to the dress rather than just like changing the fabric from like a linen to a satin like <laughs> it always like deeply offended me <laughs> for no reason at all really I think I may try to add a little bit of a pattern plus it'll help give the ink more time to dry up um, so let's let's look up Victorian fabric patterns. Oh, <laughs> they are turned. Okay, let's <laughs> try to find one moderately simple and um, try to. Oh, this one looks super nice. Oh, I like this one, and it's it's uh, quite simple. Let's let's take a see. Look at. I, I kind of like this. This looks quite nice. I would go with something like this that feels really Victorian, but that looks a lot more like a wallpaper. Um, but I like the overall setup of this. I feel like we could do something with that. I think, uh, I think I'm gonna go with that. Um, <gasps> Killer Bunny and Jeffu and Link and Alcreos. You guys, hello. Lurk and get some work done, reacts, have a wonderful time, be nice and productive, do what you can, but don't lay it on too heavy. You gotta take care of yourself, okay? You're wonderful. Jefferson, how are you? Oh man. Oh, I I had a swell question for today, but I cannot remember it at all. Oh man. Ooh, ooh, okay. If you were a witch or warlock, 
Th this isn't the question I was thinking of, but it's a new one. <gasps> if you were a witch or a warlock, what creature would you have as your familiar? What would you want as your familiar? Anything, any animal. So cute, but um, for those of you that don't know, familiars help you in your spell cast and they, they kind of tend to reflect your soul in some way. Like you're very in tuned with the creature. And so, like, you, you guys work together for, um, like, creating greater energies for spellcraft and stuff. <gasps> Black Bear! That would be dope! I've never even, like, heard of anybody ever having a bear as a familiar. That would be a powerhouse! <gasps> Lynx and Owl! Can't have just one. That's fine. That's fine. You can have more than one. Some people's souls are so powerful that a single familiar cannot cannot cut it. A bumblebee! Oh, that is so sweet! A fox. Oh, that's a good one. So cute! With all the leaps! I love watching videos of foxes leaping in the snow to catch little mice. So cute! Fishies or snakes. Ooh! You'd be one of them, one of them crazy houses you go in and there's just like these tanks everywhere. <laughs> with reptiles and fishies. Oh my god, that would be the coolest. There's been an owl at every house we've ever loved, and I talk to them. Oh! Oh, so maybe owls are just following you around your life, and like, oh, they might be your spirit guides! Oh! I like bug-type Pokemon, so B would be the right choice. That would be so sweet. B, <laughs> that would be so sweet. Wow. Oh, that's lovely. Um, oh, I need my blue paint. And I don't have any left. <laughs> that is typical. Um, we need to mix up some more of this anyway for my Tempest page. So, hello, Glow. Hey, Mom. Um, ultramarine, Prussian, and white. Okay. They do. They are a calming presence every time. Bam! That's so fabulous. I've always had an attachment to fishies. Jeffu, um, is there any particular, like, type of fish? Or do you just like love fishies altogether? I feel that way about a lot of birds. Like I've never, I've never like considered like birds as my favorite like animals or species in any way. Cause I, I tend to just like look right past them. But every like spiritual moment I've ever had in my life has involved a bird. Well, not like everyone, but like some of the stronger spiritual moments I've had in my life have involved birds. And I can't believe I've like <laughs> just ignored all of those. It's crazy. And they're white. I'm like a bird in the sense that I like shiny, colorful things. <gasps> oh! Like a, a corvidae or corvidae? I'm not sure how to say it. A corvidae? They're so sweet how they love the shinies. Red panda. A red panda would be the sweetest familiar. Honey. Yes, my love. If you were a witch or warlock, what animal would you want as your familiar? Mm. Something that you have like a spiritual connection to to help you to create stronger energies for your spellcraft. An axolotl. <gasps> oh, so cute! Do you really feel that way about axolotls? No. <laughs> He's still dongus. Right, BB crows are so fabulous. I love them so much. 
I don't have any fish right now, but I used to. What kind of fish did you used to have? I just like, I just like you getting excited. <laughs> well, axolotls are a surefire way to get me excited. They're so cute. Oh, I love the videos of their like delayed responses to food dropping on their head. <laughs> have you seen that? It's like this, these videos of like pellets dropping and then bouncing off and then like two seconds go by and then they go, oh. <laughs> I love them so much. Oh, they're so great. And I would always speak to them and stare at them for hours. Oh, Overstarch's mom has these beautiful goldfish. And whenever they went away and we went over to their house to like feed the fish and stuff, I would sit there and like hang out with them and they would follow me around. It was so sweet. I loved them. They have big googly eyes. My bear would uh, be more like Baloo than the aggressive type. Yeah, a nice chill bear. That would be fantastic. Oh, you guys could do, oh, you guys could do a lot of like magic with honey. <laughs> It'd be nice. A lot of uh, platies and mollies. I'm not sure what kind of fish those are. What, love? <laughs> Nothing. What? I'm listening to um, the Connor For Real song, The Finest Girl one. The Finest Girl? Yeah, Which one's that? Bin Laden song. Oh, Bin Laden song. So stupid. Is a platy like a platypus? Hi there, Zelos. How are you doing? Um, okay, so there's that. Oh shoot, I have to pee. Of course I do. Okay, I need to run and pee really quick. Just, just a second, I'll be right back. Oh, I almost pressed ending. Hold on. <laughs> Lovely to see you. Have a good day. You're doing pretty well. That is wonderful to hear, Zelos. Um, okay. Do some kind of pattern. First, I want to add just a bit more shading since we are kind of rearranging the folds of her skirt. Thank you. 
lurk for a bit. Have to get some painting done before the kids arise for the day. Damn, go seize the hours you've got. We believe in you and you will get so much done. You're so freaking sweet, Bam. We love you. <laughs> or something less creepy. I don't know, I have to be so creepy. Okay. Maybe a smidgey bit more in some of those special places. What's he doing? Chasing his father. Oh, what a good boy. When his father is burning away. So sweet. Okay. Mayhaps let's give this a little, little blow dry. Or wait, hold on. Maybe a little bit of shadowage in the deeper crevices of her hair. We don't want it to get too dark or anything, but I think we could use just a little like, ooh. Oh yeah, like that, just a little, just a little bit. Just a little bit. Oh yeah, that, that gives a little oomph. Gives it a little bit of something. Little healthy oomph. Oh yeah, that's mighty fine. Super, super fine. Okay. Okay, we don't want to go too heavy on that. going on with her eyes because we cannot see them all that well so I may do some stuff with these inks over here um, she has brown eyes so I want to go in with one of these paler brown inks just to get something going here so we can see Howell's eye quite clearly but we can't see Sophie's her looking up at him. Hopefully this will dry quite pale so that we can get a better look at what's going on there. And Um, oh, 
you know what? We need to do that tree that's hanging out back there. So and that's another good thing we can do to let the other inks dry up. Um, okay, let's... The base of the tree looks quite purple. So we can go in with um, some of purple moderately in some areas it does. Or a dark, I think the dark, dark green would probably be our best bet. So let's go in with just some straight dark ink. We want to get like a flat, a nice flat kind of tree shadow. Right behind Hal and Sophie. So we're going to load up as much of the dry ink as we can get. And get a nice dark tree shadow as a base for some brighter tree highlights. Okay. Let's see. The tree comes to about here. Um, we've moved them a bit forward, so we're not going to be seeing a lot of that, but we have some little, little leafy greens. Some flat leafy things. Okay. dense right back here so we can just kind of color it in a bit okay load up a bit more is quite dense back here. So let's let's start with some like actual tree base stuff. What what did folks get up to this weekend? I put away so much laundry, it was crazy. <laughs> I know. Got Mary Kondo so hard. I know. Sorry, it's Marie Kondo, not Mary. <laughs> I think it is Marie. Yeah, I said Mary. Oh. Exams. But you got through some of them. That's good. Do you have more exams to do or are you through with them? D and D and studies. That sounds so nice. Tea and snacks. That's that just sounds wonderful, Sam. Visiting my parents and their cat. Kitty. 
I'm a good kitty time. I'm avoiding an assignment <laughs> by watching you. Oh, baby. Well, I hope you're having a good time. I hope you're doing fabulous. I'm done for now, but assignments will go on. Okay. Well, at least you're done with the exams. That's always a relief. Um, okay. Some more, like, leafy bits. Actually, let's start over here. And we'll get, like, super dense back here. Always down to run a one shot. Oh, crap. I want to play. I mean, we do have time off this Christmas. We do. It might be nice to do something like that. I think it would. I mean, we're we're still like in the process of um that other one with Elfie and Panda. Well, we're, she's waiting for everybody to finish their character sheets. It didn't even snow, Vivi. Well, there's still plenty of time. There's still plenty of time to get some snow in. Good. 